Hello guys, in the previous videos we saw how to implement an up counter and a down counter separately. Now we are going to do one thing and implement both of them in a single circuit. But obviously how do we do it? We'll, we'll use one line called as mode or you can name it whatever you want by which we can switch to up or down. Basically you cannot use up or down for a single LED light. light. So what, by LED light I meant 7 segment display or probes whatever. You cannot go up or down at the same time. So for that you can do one thing. Say for mode equals to 0. So if you set that mode equals to 0 then it will count up. And if you set that mode equals to 1 then it will start counting down right. That's what you can do. So for that what you can do is obviously you will have to use one more line that is this one. So suppose this is our line called mode which is M. And it can be the 0 or 1. So when it is 0. I am going to count it up and when it is 1, I am going to keep it as a down counter. So for that what we are going to do is, we are going to connect J, K and these these all values that is clear and preset to VCC as we, as we know. The connection that is important over here is for clock. So whatever this clock is, this is fine. But how will we connect now? You know that for up counter, this is up suppose, for up counter we connect to the next clock. So I mean, I mean to this clock will connect Q directly. But if we are implementing a down counter, that is a down counter, then we will connect Q bar. That is if we, if we are implementing a down counter, we will implement Q bar. And for the, both the cases, we will connect Q as the output to the LED bulb or you know, whatever, 7 segment display, whatever. So how to manipulate this, this circuit in between so that we will get whatever Y from this we will get. This Y should be connected to clock. So for that what you can do, you have two values, right? Q, Q bar and one more thing that is M. And you have to switch it according to, the, to, to this value of M. So you see that we have three values. So obviously we have these many bits, right? So for M equals to zero, I'm going to say that I want it to be an up counter. That is, I'm going to connect Q, right? So for up counter, I want to connect Q. If you don't understand why do we connect Q for up counter, you can watch the previous videos by clicking on this I icon or card, whatever. And for M equals to one, you are going to implement a down counter. That is, you are going to connect Q bar to the clock side, right? So, so to the clock side means Y. So this is clock side, that means Y. I am going to connect some Y, right? So this Y should be according to the Q uh, for the first case. So for the, according to this, it should be according to these values up to these. So it will be 0, 0, 1, 1. And after that, it will be according to this thing, right? So it will be 0, 1, 0, 1, whatever. So after this, it looks like this, right? So you can do one thing. To get the value of Y, we just need to implement M, Q and Q bar in such a way that we'll get Y. So for that, you can do one thing. You can simply use a K map. So for obvious reasons, so it is 0, so 0 it will remain 0, then for 0, okay, this will be 0, this will be 1, this will be 1 because of these two, then it will be 0, then again it will be 1 over here, it will be 0 and this will be 1. So if you see these two values are 1 and 1, that is for kmap we can use them. So obviously if you see this is m bar, right, so m bar, m bar into what, it will be, so see, if you see what is changing, this is Q, so Q is actually remaining the same. So you will just write M bar Q plus M, that is this for this bar, it is going to be M plus Q. So this equation is nothing but M XOR Q. That's what we are going to do. So how to how to connect it is, you are simply going to use one mode line, which is see this M, which can be either 0 or 1. You will take this, and why did I tell you all, because in this circuit, where it went, yeah. For this circuit, what you are going to do, you are just going to implement something in between. What was the circuit in between? We just saw M XOR Q. So for that M XOR Q, just use this XOR gate. I am really bad at drawing with mouse, so just bear with it. This is nothing but XOR gate. So M XOR Q, whatever it is, you will just take its XOR and you will connect it to clock. And you will get the output accordingly. So instead of just this bad drawing, let us actually implement it and see. So these are the, these are the connections, right? Preset clear, preset clear are connected to one according to and you are obviously using the toggling case. So 1J, 1K, 1J, 1K are connected to VCC that is one, this thing. And as I told you I connected the clock and all. As I told you I am going to connect the mode which is going to be either 0 or 1. For 0 it is going to count up, for 1 it is going to count down. So I am going to use the equation M XOR Q. So this is M which is connected to XOR, this is Q which is connected to XOR. So M XOR Q is this Y which we got, we will connect it to the next clock. And after that you can have many blocks. This is just 2 bit counter. So we have 2 blocks. After which you can have 3 blocks, 4 blocks and so on. And again you, you will just connect the XOR gate between so Q then M. Again take this M and take this Q, connect it to XOR gate and connect it to the next clock and so on. That's what you will do. And after that what output we are going to get is, as I told you all in the previous tutorials, whatever is the last block that is going to be MSB. So this is going to be MSB. 
and this is going to be the LSB. So it will be MSB. So it will be connected to the right right over side. So I'll just run this simulator and let us see what happens. So see, it is zero. It means it will count for up. So it is counting up. So see, zero, one. 2, 3 and so on. It will go up to 3 only and it will again start from 0. But when I set mode equals to 1, now it is going to be a down counter. So it will again be 3, 2, 1, 0. Basically it is counting in opposite directions. That's what we wanted to do. So that's all from my side. Actually in the next tutorial we are going to implement a 4 bit counter in which I am going to implement this in multisim from scratch. So that's all from my side. You can stay tuned and keep learning. Thank you.